A crowd of people gathered here at the Legislative Plaza to watch the last of the so-called Tennessee Three take their seats again in the State House. Justin J. Pearson says he has a renewed purpose now, fueled by many of the people who were here to see him take the oath of office for the second time. Y'all stand up front here. Yeah, I need all the representatives to step back. This is a people power movement. Before Justin J. Pearson was sworn back into office. Do solemnly swear. He made sure his supporters who made the nearly 200 mile trip to Nashville had a front row seat. And I'm so glad, I'm so glad to be fighting with you, to be marching with you, because victory is ours. In the crowd at Pearson's re-swearing in ceremony was a woman from Nashville who played a role in how Pearson got here in the first place. On the Monday of the Covenant shooting, I sat in my kitchen powerless and, and, and just terrified and was tired of being powerless. On March 27th, six people, including three children, were shot and killed inside a Nashville school. This Nashville mother helped organize the protests that sent hundreds of angry moms and kids to the Capitol steps and into the rotunda. We wanted to be civil, we wanted to be peaceful, but we didn't want business as usual. And then we were outside and, and, and they were just talking about transportation on the floor. And everyone was like, look, this is, you know, this is powerful what we've got here, but they've got to stop and talk about what's going on. So I am not surprised that Justin and Justin and Gloria at one point were just like, we have to listen to these people. The so-called Tennessee Three protested from the House floor, a violation of House rules, leading to their eventual vote to be expelled. Power to the people. One week ago, Pearson walked into this Capitol with ease. Now he's followed with security and media. I asked him how that felt. Well, the weight of this moment uh, that our democracy was thrown into disarray by the Republican Party of the state of Tennessee because we want to fight to end gun violence. Yeah. And today we go back with a renewed sense of purpose and commitment. In Nashville, Kelly Cook, Action News 5. And of course, we'll continue to bring you the very latest on this historic moment as new details emerge, including when a date will be set for the special election to elect a state representative for District 86. That still has to happen. Be sure to stick with us on air and online for the latest developments.